Hey everyone, we created this yesterday. It was a one section, one column hero banner. You got a, you could have a logo or a header or whatever you want up here. You could have some further words. So you could have some words down here as well, but I left that quite blank, okay? And the idea behind it was it that we had like seven call to actions. It's gonna take you to another page on your website, an external link. It could take you anywhere you want, even to a particular single product or whatever, okay? But I'm now going to convert this into a Flexbox container. And you just got to bear in mind that when you do that, the layout is going to switch. Now, please remember that this is built using custom whips. The custom whip for this is actually 50%. And then I've added a 50% left. So 50% of 50% is 25%. And then this is 25% and this is 25%. We are using the custom whip, okay? Um, this one over here is actually 75% and then 33% from the left. So a third of 75 is 25 because I want to make sure that if you add any other items, they don't suddenly drop into here. This is a 25% uh, and this is a 50%. So a bit of flexibility, you can make things look really good. But this is one section and one column. Now, if you go to your elemental settings, okay, and you go down to experiment over here, scroll down, make sure your Flexbox container is set to active and then hit save changes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna click convert to container. And as soon as you do that, it's made a copy. Now there's a few things I wanna point out. Can you see the layout has gone into a column structure? Cause it was kind of built with columns anyway. So we've got header, item one, item two, item three, item four, and it goes all the way down like that. That is not the layout we want. But before we do, or before we correct that, I do wanna point out something that will catch people out. If you go to navigator, we have the container, but we have a container within a container, and then we have all of the items. Now, this is not what I want. Okay, let me just move this over here. This is not what I want at all. I actually want um, all of these items to sit in the parent container. I have no need for a child container at all. So I'm gonna move all of these items out one by one. So there we go, I've moved everything out into the parent container. So let me get rid of the child container there, okay? Now, can you see what's happened? If we click on the parent container and we go to, we're gonna leave, the, well, I'm gonna set this to be full width, leave it as 100% um, width and 100% height for full height, okay? We go to items, it is currently set as a row. So when it's a row, everything goes after the other item, okay? And it starts to shrink them down regardless of the size we've got here. Remember, these items, like look at this one here, this has got a 50%, 25% width, but no way is that 25%. And it's because the container is currently set as the direction to be rows. If I set it as column, well, we're back to where we were before where everything will go underneath one another, almost regardless of the width. And that is not what we want. I want to go back to row. But my big problem is everything is now squashing up. Well, this is so simple and easy to sort out. I'm going to set the alignment of this to be in the center, because that is kind of what we did in this section where it was all in the middle. I might adjust that later, but let's just have a look. I'm going to set the content to start from the start, right? I don't want it to have space between or anything like that. Because when you do that, you'll have a gap up here. And here's the key bits now, right? Wrap. When you wrap, it will now acknowledge the widths that you have put into here for each item, for each call to action. When I hit wrap, look at what we have. I mean, you can, if you want, go over here, Bo, and hit flex start as well, if you want. I mean, I would recommend you do that because it kind of does align it in a little bit more um, uh, better way. Because if you look over here, this was our original um, section that we had and we scroll down now I've now got my new one and this is now Flexbox container the the logic behind it really is the same as what we were doing before where if you go to advanced you have custom and I set the width but the key bit here was about the power of the wrap functionality you take that off and that's your row you add it on and away we go I mean this is really simple and I wanted to just show this to you because if you ever do make that conversion with a really flexible layout, make sure you understand the wrap functionality. Remember, this is one container with two headers. We got one here and one there. We got a background image over there, okay? Uh, fixed effect for the background. And we have uh, seven call to actions that could take you to other pages, products, whatever you want. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow.
and get playing. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.